Many Christians today have very little concept of the holiness of God. They have very little awe. They have very little respect for God. Sometimes we say we, they have no fear of God. As you read through the book of Jeremiah, and you read through the book of Lamentations, and you see the fruit of sin, you see the fruit of people who have turned away from a living God, you begin to understand that God is not just good and his mercy endures forever. God is also a God who is holy and just, and he judges sin. Now, as Jeremiah begins to write the book of Lamentations, and it's really a lament over all the pain and the suffering that he had been through as he watched Israel conquered and the people taken to captivity, he said in Lamentations 3.20, I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. He said, I'll never forget this awful time. You know, when you see the judgment of God, it's a time that you should never forget. Now, people don't like it when you talk like this, but I'm just quoting you the scripture. Lamentations 3.20, I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. But his lament doesn't stop there. He begins in verse 21. Yet I will still dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Even after seeing all of the judgment of God upon Israel for their sins and taken into captivity and, and Jerusalem destroyed and the temple ransacked, and it was all because of the people's sins, God repetitively told them, it's because you have sinned. And it's because the priests and the prophets never warned the people of their sin. They, they were too busy trying to be popular. When he saw all of the sin and he saw all of the judgment, he said, I'll never forget this. But he said, you know what? I still dare to hope. <laughs> I love that. He said, I still dare to hope when I remember this. He said, I don't, I don't ever want to forget this awful time. But he said, I always remember this. And what I remember gives me hope. I remember the faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Now he continues in verse 24. Let me just read it through for you. He said, I will say to myself, I'm going to talk to myself. He said, you know, I know they say only crazy people talk to themselves, but he said, I'm going to talk to myself. I will say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. So it is good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord. And it is good for people to submit at an early age to the yoke of discipline. Young people, did you hear that? It is good to submit to the yoke of God's discipline in your life at an early age. Let them sit alone in silence beneath the Lord's demands. Let them lie face down in the dust, for there may be hope at last. Let them turn the other cheek to those who strike him and accept the insults of their enemies, for no one is abandoned by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he also shows compassion because of the greatness of his unfailing love. For he does not enjoy hurting people or causing them sorrow. Now, if you're listening to me right now, and forgive me, you've been living in sin and you've made a total mess of your life and you are reaping the fruit of your sins in life. Remember what God is like. Yes, he has disciplined you, but he does not enjoy hurting people or causing them sorrow. Remember that though he brings grief, he also shows compassion because of the greatness of his love. Won't you turn back to him today? Won't you just humble yourself under the mighty hand of God? Won't you just turn back to him today and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And pick up your Bible and begin to read it this morning and begin to again pray. 
and be in church with us on Friday night and Saturday and Sunday and open your heart to him. Won't you? You must understand, as long as there's life, there's hope because he is good and his mercy endures forever.